a warm welcome to everyone present here. The topic we are going to present is Automated Detection of Cataract Using a Deep Learning Technique. The authors of this paper are R. Angelin, R. Bani, A. Jashwan Sonali, and Dosapatya Heti Rao. Hansen Sar, Abstract, Introduction, Related Verb, Proposed System, Data, Preprocessing the Data, Keras and Tensor for Architecture, Block Diagram, Implementation and Results, Output, Advantages, Disadvantages, Conclusion and Reference. Abstract Eyesight is expressed in terms of visual acuity, more than which it is the process of deriving meaning from what is seen. Cataract is one of the most pervasive reasons for visual deficiency in the industrialized world representing more than half of visual impairment. It is a state when densely clouded forms developed around the natural lens causing partial and blood vision. Early recognition and treatment can lessen the enduring of cataract in patients and forestall visual weakness from transforming into visual impairment. In this study, we aim to classify the input eye image as cataract or normal. In this system, the input image is taken as a front viewed eye image captured with a smartphone camera application instead of using the existing Sanders images such that it makes the model user friendly and less expensive leading to early detection of cataract. In this model, the VGG16, a pre-trained model is applied as on convolutional neural network architecture which is deployed over the data set obtained. On modeling the system with a collected sample, the neural network algorithm has resulted with an accuracy rate of 92.1% for cataract detection and finally the system is trained to classify an input eye image as cataract or normal eye. Introduction Cataract is defined as one of the major cause of eye vision loss apart from diseases like diabetic retinopathy glaucoma, amphilophia, strabismus, and so on. The natural lens of the eye is made out of a mix of water and proteins. The lens itself lacks nerves, veins, or connective tissue sometimes. The positioning of proteins will in general become increasingly insoluble as we age and the lens dynamically loses its lucidity and focusing capacity. This restricts the amount of light passing through the lens to the retina and the vision become hazy and blurred. Despite the fact that age is the main cause of cataract, there is a various of reason behind this order. Congenital cataract might be caused in infant due to hereditary or developed due to an infection which is known as rubella in the mother during pregnancy. It might slowly develop in adults and children due to exposure of radiation or drugs and over steroids intake due to traumatic disturbance in the eye lens. The various cataract type include nucleus, cortical, posterior capsula, cognitional, secondary cataract, traumatic and radiation cataracts. According to World Health Organization, reports and surveys, cataract is found to be the cause of vision impairment in over 62.5 million people. Studies show that age-related reasons are more generic in most cases of cataract, especially nuclear and cortical cataract. Early detection of cataract is of paramount importance to prevent it getting severe leading to blindness. Ophthalmology methods are used in general as cataract detection method for which medical expertise is essential apart from this method being expensive. To avoid such complexities, early analysis is more essential which can be done using smartphone camera application by capturing the affected image. So this system using front eye image would be part for early production purpose rather than using front image images data. Related work Capture detection has always been a topic of research because of the fact that how complicated it can get when left undetected. Recently, its detection and research has increased exponentially with the upcoming of new classification methodologies. In the existing model, 
the vast majority of prediction and classification are done using Fundus images collected from a reputed hospital database and the slick lamp based Fundus image doesn't gives a proper solution for detection of cataract at an early stage and processing. Some of the works also includes Android app based data collection. Majority of the models or system employ image processing techniques such as KNN or SVM which doesn't help much in attaining a state of the art accuracy. Several related works have described below. By developing cataract detection system using a Raspberry Pi single board based detection system. This work was done by Kenneth C. Karimihan et al. He used RPA camera model V2 for capturing the eye image. The model aims to detect cataract by not using the dilating drops and determine the grade, severity, color and hardness of cataract. Deep convolution neural network is used along with Google Net for transfer learning. They have also applied matrix laboratory image processing method based on LOCS third. Then the experiment is done for using RPA environment and the transfer feature were extracted. Then another model which is used to detect cataract using inception v3 deep convolutional neural network architecture. This work was done by Sahana Mittal. The model was implemented on data set collected using various hospital database which is originally obtained using slit lamp technique. Here they have aimed to classify it as mature and immature cataract with the aid of collected data but this had given 87.5 percentage accuracy using the incepted version 3CCN architecture. Methodology In the proposed system we aim to detect cataract in an efficient way in the sense to make cataract detection with less intricacy and much lose user interaction. We focus to develop a model that would detect cataract at early juncture such that future complications can be avoided rather than using a fundus image which gives a rear view of the eye. We have decided to use the front view of the eye which involves several advantages such as low cost, easy to understand the usage, can easily reach common people who have no knowledge in the medical field. The stack of the model can be an Android app or any build device such as CTRA and here we concentrate on the method of implementation. Let us go through the methodology as follows in the upcoming slides. Gathering data was the first task of the process. The data we use here is an image data set. More the number of images, more is the efficiency of the model. The original data was collected separately as scattered and normal eye image. Keeping that as goal, we collected data from various repositories which is provided in online which include Kaggle, GitHub and various data sites. Apart from collecting it online, an offline data search was done to collect data for both cataract and normal images. Offline fetching was done through normal smartphone camera. On a total of 2120 images of cataract eye and 1600 images of normal eye were obtained separately. The data set collected had a lot of misinterpreted data which we had to be pre-processed. Mislabeling occurrence of a non cataract in the cataract set of data was found to be one setback which was manually determined and moved to the respective set. Octopus, an image scrapping API tool which integrates with Python ID is used to overcome the non-uniformity to restructure the data step. Keras provided a way to implement this image augmentation using the class image data generator which uses the parameters such as rescale, shear, zoom, horizontal, flip in the model. Another major Python libraries used here is Keras. Keras is an API, a high level version written using the Python language which can run on top of platforms such as TensorFlow, Theano and so on. It is a powerful source. It is user compatible and most robust and extensible. For instance, the previously mentioned image data generator is implemented using Keras. On the other hand, TensorFlow is a core platform to build, train and deploy machine learning and deep learning models in a feasible manner. Now let's see the architecture over here. Deep convolution neural network has been in practice for image classification. The primary motive of this model 
which is shown below the figure is to predict whether the loaded input image is an eye image with cathode or without cathode affected. There are several pre-trained modules which can be implemented and such a method is a transfer learning. It is expressed through pre-trained model that is model is trained on existing huge volume of data set for resolving similar problems. For instance classification of eye image in this model. Basic idea is to transfer the knowledge of pre-existing similar model to our model to attend the new problem task. On applying this concept, instead of training the model over and over again, making the work tedious, existing training patterns can be used for fine tuning such that time consumption is reduced. It is a 41 layer network on total containing 16 weighted 13 convolution and 3 fully connected layering and are separated as blocks of 5. Instead of initializing all the layers randomly, the pre-trained model end layers are added to the target model. Usually, either the top layer or the bottom layer is chopped off and is appended to a new model. A block diagram has been clearly shown. Apart from the pre-trained parameters, rest of the new models are initialized here. The extended feature of VGG16 has been applied over our model to classify the image as scattered and normal. In the course action of implementation, the VGG16 model was directly included due to the advantage of QRES library. The features extracted using the pre-trained VGG16 architecture is appended to our model. The process included saving and loading of the weights where the image input is applied to the model and finally prediction is depreciated as 1 for a normal eye and 0 for a cathode affected person's eye image. Now we are going to see the implementation and result. On experimenting our idea of everything mentioned in the previous section, we have come up with an efficient classification model for cathode defects detection at an early juncture, which give on an accuracy of 92.1%. On further note, the salient feature point of this experiment is to classify an image as cathode type or non cathode type when the use upload the image to this model. The modeling of concept is shown in the figure. Now we are going to see advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. No need for labeling of data. Best results with unstructured data. No need for future engineering and efficient at delivering high quality result. Whereas on other side, we are going to see what are the disadvantages. It requires very large amount of data in order to perform better than other techniques. It is extremely expensive to train due to complex data model. Moreover, deep learning requires expensive GPUs and hundreds of machines. Conclusion. We can thus conclude that detection of cataract in human eye is of alter importance in accordance of its magnificence. Our model has classified the image with an efficient model giving out an accuracy rate of 92.1% which validates the model as an efficient one. This can be used for future use by deploying it with a proper baseline and staff such that it could reach market as a methodological way which could be economical. Difference here are shown as automatic cathode classification using deep learning with a discrete state transaction from IEEE transaction on medical imaging 39. Mobile application based cathode detection system from 2019 third international conference on trends in electronics and information same as automatic cathode detection and grading using deep convolution neural network in 2017 IEEE 14th international conference on networking sensing and control thank you have a great day ahead